Hi, we're Sister Sledge, and you're watching Mariners TV. How pleased are you to get the deal done and to, to sort of extend your stay here? Yeah, over well, the moon to get it done, Dan. It's, uh, it's never nice when, when you come out of contract and you're trying to sort lots of different things out. Uh, but I'm over the moon to get it done. What was the main motivation for staying at this club? I think that there was quite a lot of motivations. Um, I think we ended last year in a disappointing way and I think I've got to go and put that right. So I couldn't walk away. Um, I also got the, the, the lads that uh, built a really good bond with everyone at the club since I've been here for four years. The fans have been amazing. and It'll be really hard to walk away from that, so, so I'm really glad to sign another year. On a personal note, how pleased with, with the way you did last season as well, your first season at this level with this club? Yeah, it's it's always uh, it's always nice to to be um, commended at the end of the season with a few trophies. But again, I said at the presentation, I, I wouldn't have been able to get them without the lads and and without the fan support. So really appreciate it. The reception that you got that awards night as well, the, the amount of awards that you won. How much did you appreciate the sort of rec recognition that you got? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, you you work hard all through the season. You you, you give you your Tuesdays, your Thursdays, your Saturdays, and you travel all day Saturday. So it takes a lot out of your life, um, and it's nice to get something back at the end of the season. Last season was obviously a tough one, but we ended the season really well in terms of the second half of the season. Is that where you want to sort of start from next year to sort of have a, have a really good start this time? Yeah, I think I think the start of last season really put us on the back foot. Um, I think to finish where we did, considering where we were, was an amazing achievement. So what we've got to do is take that take that straight into next season. We can't have a slow start. Obviously, you're one of the longest serving members of the squad as well. You, you joined the club at the very start of this journey as well. Does that give some extra to you as well? Do you know that you've been part of this whole journey? Yeah, definitely. That was that was another reason why why I felt like I couldn't leave at the minute. Um, I felt like because I've been here from the start, I, I should continue for as long as I possibly can. Um, and luckily, I've got got another chance to do that. How much do you feel you've improved as a player over those four five years wherever it's been so far? Oh, massively. I think when I when I first signed, I was. I think it was around about 23, so I was still really, really young. Mm -hmm. um, still very unexperienced, um, didn't have a lot of game time before I came here. Um, and and the management's helped me along, the players have helped me along, and and, and it's really benefited me. Of course, with Lane Graham as well, how much has that, has that benefited you? Would you say the sort of one on one you wish not to give to, to the players like yourself? Yeah, we've mentioned it before, the top, top class coaches, and we've had, we've had a lot of coaches in and out there. The, the team that aren't here anymore, the likes of Scotty, um, etc., etc. But th they've had a massive impact as well because um, you pick up different things from different coaches, and and what they've done for me is massive. Do you feel there's more to come from you as a player as well? More to sort of improve on? Yeah, definitely. I think um, th there's always things to improve on, and <laughs> Lee and Graham will make sure that you know them as well. Um, and that's the best part of being here because you kind of you kind of sit comfortable. You've got to keep progressing, keep progressing. Obviously, you, you contributed so much last season, but one of the big things was the penalty taken towards the end of the season as well. Can you sort of talk through what it was like those last few weeks of the season in terms of the, the nerves going to those big spot kicks that you had? Yeah, I think it, it, I had to try and take myself away from the whole game and the situation and the pressure. Uh, I had to just take a step back and think it's just another penalty, uh, although it had a lot of big things riding on it. I think that's probably why they were so successful in the end. Obviously, you scored some spectacular goals as well. Do, do the fans expect more of that next season? Do you think from yourself? No, sort of hopefully, hopefully not. <laughs> but no, we'll see. I think um, I was in the right place at the right time for a couple of them last year. But um, I had a good good goals tally last year. I think it was 20, 90 if you take off Ferriby. Um, so for me, the target's 20 again next year. How much is that sort of important for you as a player as well for midfield to contribute with so many goals like you did, did last season? Yeah, definitely. I think um, last year we had a lot of injuries and um, change up front. So... There wasn't somebody up there consistently to to, to score all of our goals. Um, you had Finners injured, you had Foley injured, you had Josh injured, um, you had Mason who was injured at the beginning of the season. So I think if we get them firing from the beginning, and then uh, I shouldn't be anywhere near the top goal scorer next year. And last season was your first as vice captain as well. How much do you sort of benefit from having a role like that as well? How much do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's great. Um, it's great to be vice captain of all the lads. Um, Got a great leader above us in Shawsy, so I, I take a lot out of him every single every single training session, every single game. So again, it's just benefiting me as a person and a player. Just finally, obviously, promotion. We just missed out on it last year. Is that the big target for you next season to sort of put that right and win the league next year? Yeah, definitely. I think winning the league's a target. Since we're that close this year, I think the only way to put that right is by going and winning it next year. Um, and then if we fail to do that, then promotion is the next target. But for me, it's all about winning that league.